Okay, wee selfie video. Um, bit miserable outside today. Uh, but we'll go and have a look, I'll show you what I mean. It's absolutely, well, it's, it's raining quite heavy. Uh, although you can't see it in the video. And uh, I know I said I'll work on the clock today. Here he is. Or here, uh, here the clock is. Just to give you an idea, I'm six foot one. Uh, well, I used to be about six foot one. Shrunk a bit, it's called an age thing. Anyway, um, quite happy with him. He's been sitting here for a couple of months now. And no big cracks, nothing nothing too bad from him. Uh, he's uh, well, getting there. And uh, time to carve him down. He's finished size, finished shape. I think, I think I'll end up putting one of these. But, Say hello guys, hello. This is Bob by the way. Um, Fraser decided that he would be called Bob. Uh, and this is the wee owl that's uh, up for a wee bit more finishing work if I get a chance. So, uh, my plan is, sorry, stay on camera. My plan is to use what was left of what the clock was made of, which was the base of a big log, which maybe you can see under my burner and it's a precious ash. And I think I'll try a kind of fairy house type bird feeder for a garden. Um, and we'll see how we go on with that today. Right. Don't know what to say about this, but this is a bit of wood that uh, I have left over. Looks big, doesn't it? Well, it's. Not that big, but it's still pretty heavy. But you know what? I don't think there's a fairy house in it. I'm thinking something else. What does it say? Fortune favours the brave. Anyway, I'll give this a go. Some of you might do for a while, which covers just about. A thousand things I might do just now. Anyway, here we go. Well, here we go, guys. It didn't turn into a bird feeder after all. It turned into a teacup. One more bit here. It's got a really elegant one, actually. Never done a peacock before. It was something to a good friend during the week, and we were talking about designs and peacocks and things like that. And, uh, Roadrunner going on just now, except tomorrow. It's uh, taking off. We got a bit of kind of train crash when they're flying. And that's the tail. So we've got a lot of carving on the tail to do. The wings and the feathers. And uh, the feet. The face. <laughs> Pretty much all of it. It's taller than me, so it's uh, four or six foot. Six foot two. Very robust. Be nice this way. Anyway, I'm heading home. I'm hungry. I'm cold. It's getting really foggy and I've got the motorway still to do. So, catch us later. Bye. Although the sun's out, it is absolutely freezing. Baltic. My blowtorch has just frozen up and uh, my wood dyes are refusing to dry, so it's kind of stopped me doing the, the colouring process. Wings are still to go, or wing, the leading wing feathers. Um, are orange and obviously each eye on the tail needs to be detailed but uh, all in all it's getting there it's about six foot three high um, should be nice once all the details been done <laughs>